On November 8, 1924, in Prince Albert, Saskatchewan, Johnny Bauer was born. He was the second of nine children, no brothers and eight sisters. Lying about his age, at 15, he would leave his increasingly crowded home to enlist with the Queen's own Cameron Highlanders to serve in England during the Second World War. Discharged in 1944, after four years of service in the military, Johnny would pick up his hockey career where it left off, in Saskatchewan. Fast forward 14 years, and the day Johnny Bauer was claimed by the last place Maple Leafs from the Cleveland Barons in the AHL Interleague Draft. That fall, the winningest goalie in American Hockey League history would make the blue and white. He was the oldest player on the team. In fact, for every game of his 12 seasons in Toronto, he would always be the oldest on the team. For his final 10 seasons, he was the oldest player in the league. Some say Johnny earned his famous nickname, the China Wall, because he'd been around as long as the impressive fortification. But those who faced Johnny knew it was because it was harder to put a puck past old number one than it was to get a shot through the Great Wall. Face off, Russo is tied up. He tries to kick the puck free. Now Harper gives it back to shoots it, and a bullet like drive right in front of the net. Bauer down. And Bauer came up with a big save there. Of course, Johnny preferred to play without the protection of a mask. I just made up my mind that I was going to lose my teeth and have my face cut to pieces. He would intentionally block shots with his face and patented the poke check, his signature move that would thwart oncoming attackers before they could even begin their assault on the Toronto net. Johnny's career accomplishments weaved their way through one of the most beloved eras in franchise history. We were the best team of the 60s. That was our era. I can't say that we were the best team ever, but we were the best team of the 60s. And he was the best player on our team. And if anybody deserves to be have their, a statue put up of them, I think Johnny Bauer does. A four-time Stanley Cup champion, he would drink from the cup in 1962, 1963, 1964, and as part of the oldest team that has ever won or ever will win the Stanley Cup in 1967. After 67, Johnny would suit up for three more seasons before retiring during the 69-70 campaign at the age of 45. Since then, he has filled the roles of goalie coach, practice goalie, scout, and Santa Claus. Along the way, he has made more appearances in our community than any Maple Leafs player in history. As active today in his 90th year as he was when he arrived in Toronto in 1958, Johnny still treats every fan as if they were the first that ever wanted to shake his hand. In 1976, Johnny Bauer, the winner of 255 regular season and playoff games with the Leafs and two Vezina awards, was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame. He, along with Nancy, watched his number one raised to the rafters of Maple Leaf Gardens. Number one in your program for every game he ever played. Johnny remains number one in the hearts of generations of Leafs fans. <laughs>